hello everyone and welcome to part 35 of laravel 10 series in which we are getting the admin panel first of all and now we are working on the e-commerce admin panel okay so now in this video we are going to display the categories in the admin panel okay so let's start uh we will open the sublime uh we are going to close the earlier files okay uh so uh first of all we're going to create the route in web.php file here after sub admin we will add here the categories so first route that we're going to add the get route for displaying the categories okay so route get categories uh, we're going to have here the categories route okay so uh, that we are going to add under the category controller that we have added in the last video and we are going to make the function the method like the categories okay so this categories uh, function we are going to add inside the category controller that we have added in the last video okay so here we are going to create the categories function public function categories okay so here we are going to fetch all the categories from the categories table okay so simply uh, we can add here the categories and here we are going to fetch from the category model uh, that we have also created in the last video okay so we will simply use the get here to fetch all the categories and uh, if, if we want to display we can display here okay uh, like uh, we can show here there are two ways to display either we can convert it to two array okay uh, and we can use here the dd to display the categories that that we able to fetch all the categories or not okay so uh, once you, if in edit panel i will use here the categories then we can see uh, like we able to fetch all the categories or not okay we need to include the category model as well okay so that we are going to include at the top uh, use app models category we model we are going to add category okay so let's refresh now and we are going to see all the categories that we have added with the help of the seeder in the last video we able to display all the categories here okay all the main as well as the subcategories okay so it's working fine uh, so we able to display so now it's your choice L like you want to return the categories uh, in array or just in object okay just in object so we can remove this one and we will just uh, uh, just pass with the object okay json in json form and uh, we are going to return it like this only okay return view and uh, now we are going to create the braid file inside the admin dot uh, dot categories uh, dot categories so i'm going to display here uh, going to create the categories folder inside that i'm going to create the create uh, the categories dot braid dot php file and uh, the, where we are going to return uh, the categories okay this categories json okay we are going to return this the form of json json object okay so we are going to return these categories in the categories blade uh, that uh, that is located inside the categories model that we are going to create right now and one more thing i want to tell you like uh, here you can see we have all the fields one more field we are going to add like the current category is having any parent category or not okay so that also we are going to do but first of all we are going to create the categories blade file inside our folder that is located inside the xamp as this is our project 10 uh, see resources views admin uh, like we have created the pages sub admin now we are going to create here the categories okay so in categories folder we are going to create the file in mac we need to create the file like this if you are in windows you know how to create the file inside the folder okay touch we are going to name that file with the categories.blade.php file we are going to create okay so the file has been created we are going to move it to our some line we are going to copy from the cms pages design admin design we can copy from the cms pages okay we have done all the hard work last time 
for creating that uh, uh, page cms pages okay uh, see here the the page that we are already having so we can simply copy this complete design and we'll paste here in category file and then we can make the changes okay like we can uh, replace the cms pages with the categories and uh, we can replace other things as well that we don't require uh, at this time uh, like this add cms uh, this one we have uh, we are not required we will add later on and other than this uh, uh, see uh, we are going to uh, add here the categories will come up here and dollar page we are going to uh, convert it to dollar category okay so we can do it like this okay so now see uh, this dollar page we can make it dollar category and still see first of all this pages module uh, is not required at this time we can simply remove it uh, okay see this is uh, when we will uh, work on roles and permission okay we will add later on okay now we will keep it like this and now we can update this dollar page to the dollar category okay so here we are going to have the id uh, and uh, then name of the category category name of the category okay then the parent category like this category belongs to which category okay parent category we are going to have after that the url category url then created on then action okay uh, so created on is also not required though okay so we can create uh, we can have it no issue uh, so here no category id after that category name and uh, see parent category we don't have right now uh, i'm going to fetch the parent category as well uh, then uh, yeah one more thing yeah url url is the category url okay so it is fine after that date category date okay uh, when the category is created so we can remove this one for the time being that we are going to add later on uh, we will don't make the things too complex okay right now and also we are going to search now like uh, i hope that there is nothing like page uh, go to search like okay so here we are going to make the categories as well and this one we are going to add in the layout.bait.php file where uh, we have already added to the data table for the cms pages and sub admins now we are going to add for the categories like this okay so now we are going to check here uh, i'm going to check for the categories and we'll see here uh, whether it is it will work fine or not yes categories are coming here and you can see it is coming in the data table we can even search for the category that we want okay so it is working fine and now we are going to fetch the parent category okay so for fetching fetching the parent uh, parent category we are going to create the relation okay a relation has one relation like uh, this particular category like this kids category is having any parent or not this woman is having any parent or not this man is having any parent or not appliance is having any parent or not okay like this so we are going to create the relation in category.php file okay so uh, we are going to create the parent relation uh, to check whether the category is having any parent category or not okay so we are going to add here the public function parent category okay so inside this we are going to add here return dollar this has one we are going to use the has one for the first time has one okay and uh, like this one is having any further category or not app models category so we are going to compare the id of the current category with the parent id okay whether the id of the uh, of the current category is the parent id of the another category or not okay suppose like uh, if this one if the kids uh, if, if the 
like kids is located un under the another parent or not okay so we will take the parent id of kids one and we'll compare it with the another id okay like this we are going to do here okay id as well as the parent id and we are going to select uh, not all the field we will select here the select id category name and url these are enough okay so we will also use the by id okay and here also we will uh, check for the status as well status must be one for the categories only only active categories we are going to fetch okay so now we are going to use this parent category uh, here category with parent category so let's see and uh, we can even check here uh, after converting it to two array we can check it as well okay dd dollar categories so now we can check here uh, like this see whether see these don't have the parent category because uh, these are the parent category itself so they don't have the further parent category but the categories uh, these three is are having the parent category let's see clothing is the parent category for men woman as well as the kids so it is working fine okay so now the same uh, we are going to add here the category uh, here uh, first we are going to add the is set uh, like uh, uh, it may have any parent category or not uh, it is not sure maybe it is having or not so we are going to add here the is set uh, is a dollar category uh, here we are going to add parent category uh, then the category name okay if it is there then only we are going to show it okay i am going to do it like this okay so inside this and if, and if is set if uh, uh, if there is some value for this variable only then we are going to show its value like this okay so now uh, we are going to check once again i am going to remove this one and going to remove the two array it is going to do it like this and we'll see uh, some syntax error has come this time let's see what syntax error exactly unexpected end of the file okay so let's see here uh, i hope that we have not uh, created any mistake i think one more bracket will come now we are going to check here yes now it is working fine and let's see we able to fetch the parent category as well okay so all these three categories have the parent category but these are not having any parent category at all clothing electronics and appliances are the parent category itself but men women and kids are having the parent category so we able to show the parent category for these categories as well okay so you are also we are showing so created on this date uh, that we have shown as well but the correct date will come when we will add the category from the admin panel okay then the correct date will come right now we don't have any date so that's why it is showing it like this okay so we able to show we able to display the categories in the admin panel and in the next video now we are going to work on the active inactive status for the categories and also we're going to add the delete functionality for the categories as well okay so stay tuned for the next video and also we are going to add as the left sidebar in the next video categories module we are going to add in the left sidebar and here we will not select the cms pages in fact uh, see uh, the uh, here uh, like we have added earlier on cms controller in cms controller uh, we have added the session put uh, page as the cms page and here uh, we are going to add uh, here for and we're going to add here the categories for this one session okay uh, we're going to add for the categories so that it will not show any of the category here okay uh, so we will also add here the session as well use session okay like this so now it is fine and uh, now see 
and now it will not select at the left side bar we will add the categories uh, module in the left side bar and we will select that in the next video okay so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time